Hey, we're back at Fox and Robin Recording. Today, we've got a tutorial for you, so let's check it out. Okay, so a little bit of an update. Today is kind of an interesting video that we're going to try out. We're going to do a tutorial, but first, as the update goes, we are now a Waves affiliate. Uh, we are going to be using Waves plugins in Universal Audio's Luna. Now, um, seems a little counterintuitive, maybe. Maybe you want to do the whole UA thing. But as an affiliate for Waves, we wanted to make some videos on the stuff that we have been using from them. And one of them is uh, Waves Studioverse. And Studioverse is a pretty cool plugin. It's got all sorts of things. And I'm going to show you kind of what those are first. So as we look at the plugin here, uh, we've got uh, lots of things. You've got master chain set up. Um, we have been doing some mastering, so that's what it's it's got here. But as you pull the plugin up, you've got a search, a liked, uh, a recent, and a user. Um, for some reason, it can't find my user chain. But I do have a user chain that I've been making here. Um, I don't know why it's not in here. Anyways, and I just have to get rid of that. If I go back to user, nope, still says nothing found. Anyways, uh, we've got those. And then you've got a search where you can type in mastering and it'll pull up tags based on your search here. And then it's got genres that you can pull up. There's like a mix bus. Um, you can go through and clear. You can do pop, rock, R&B. EQ, there's all sorts of different other tags that you can add to that as you're searching, which is really cool. Um, it's also got, you can search by audio. I haven't used that function yet, but it's pretty cool. And then there's your standard like AB setups where you can kind of AB chains and stuff like that. So uh, in this plugin, we've got, uh, it's actually a chain that we have made based off of this Devine Next Level Master. Um, but uh, we kind of took it and tweaked it for uh, what we're doing here. Um, so in this chain, we've got uh, a couple different things. We've got a parallel split that's got an SSL comp. We've got this Manny EQ, uh, an F6, which is their a really cool, like kind of like dynamic. It works very much like... Uh, Oh, there's uh, there's lots of plugins that works like it, but basically you can you can go in here and you can kind of do like a dynamic type thing based off frequencies. It's a really cool plugin. Um, and then there's a Vintage Exciter. There's Vitamin, which if you look at Vitamin here, this is kind of a it's an EQ, but it's it's not really an EQ. I'm not quite sure what to call Vitamin. Um, I really like what it's doing, but um, we'll kind of go over Vitamin in a later video. Um, there's a multi-maximizer that we've got here, and then we've got the waves meters, which is very handy when you're trying to do masters to figure out what um, your luffs are for and the range that you're trying to work within. Um, and then you've got these various knobs here within Vitamin. I'm going to close this. Um, you've got compressor, which I think is the parallel. Each knob of these kind of go with what's going on here. So there's parallel here. There's a high boost, a high frequency, a high tame, the the vintage exciter mix, the LM boost. And if I'm not mistaken, you can set these up to do whatever you really want them to do. These, these kind of eight knobs here, you can assign them to do all sorts of stuff. Um, I'm not even sure what this particular knob is doing, but, uh, and then you have like, the maximizer I have it set up to, but you also have kind of like a gain reduction down here along with various, um, channels. Like here's the man, Mary Mannequin stuff or the Manny Merrick. I'm not sure. Is it Manny M? I may have butchered his name. And if he's watching, I'm sorry. Um, but then you have like an overall turn on and off button. And I believe this is a gain. Like the top is a gain and bottom's an output. Um, it's, it's a really cool plugin. Um, nice thing about this plugin is you can set up a chain. Uh, say you're in Luna and you set up your mastering chain, you really like how it sounds, and then you go to another studio and you take this plugin with you, or you jump DAWs for some reason, and basically you can open this chain up in Luna or Logic or Pro Tools. Say you got a client that sends you something or an artist that sends you something in Luna. 
but you're working in Logic, you can open up the same plugin chain in both DAWs and not have to kind of reinvent the wheel. Um, it's a really cool plugin, and I've really enjoyed mastering within uh, this plugin. So to kind of show you our master here, I want to show you kind of what we're doing. Here's a track that we've recently mixed and mastered, or mixed, I haven't mastered yet. Actually, I take that back. We have mastered it, but for the sake of this video, you won't see that. Um, we kind of will as we go through the video, but so here is our our song that we have mixed. So that's a track that we have mixed without uh, any kind of mastering settings. Now we do have uh some saturation going on right now but that's beside the point that's through luna's uh channel setup we have our channel strip we have set up here but in the plugin itself here we have everything bypassed so if i go and i turn um you can kind of turn all these off which is really cool if your case you're like i can't figure out what is going on here something sounds funky i'm gonna leave the meters on because that's just metering so as we go through here i'll kind of show you what it sounds like with each one of these turned on and you'll hear the difference as I turn each one on. So let's take a look. So as you can tell, it does very subtle things, and that's kind of what mastering does, is it's a lot of subtle things that makes your track sound better. And we've achieved what we feel is our best mastering chain through Studioverse. And I'm sure mastering engineers out there will chime in and tell me otherwise, but as uh, for us in our studio to give clients their best mix uh, without going over budget, we have decided to use this, and this plugin is amazing. It has really um, opened up a, a series of chains that I can take anywhere. I can take them to Luna or Logic or Studio One or Pro Tools and open it up without having to kind of reinvent my sounds. So if you're interested in this plugin, in the Studioverse plugin, feel free to hit our... Uh, affiliate link down below we uh, are an affiliate so anything that you guys buy helps our channel out greatly and you know go make some music hit the like and subscribe and we'll see you next time